hello everyone welcome my channel today i will discuss about gis gis geographical information system today we will cover objectives are what is gis principle of gis function of gis components of gis type of gis advantages of gis and last applications of gis so first of all we see what is gis gis is a computer system capable of assembling scoring manipulating and displaying geographical reference information example data identified according to their locations a gis is an organized collection of computer hardware software geographic data and personally to efficient capture score are bad manipulate analyzed and display all forms of geographically referenced information then i will discuss about principle of gis first of all we can see data capture data source are mainly obtained from manual digitization and scanning of aerial photographs paper maps and existing digital data sets second database management and update data security and data integrity and data storage and retrieval and data maintenance abilities and third geographic analysis the collected information is analyzed and interpreted qualitatively and quantitatively and last preparing result one of the most exciting aspects of gis technology is the variety of different ways in which the information can be presented then i will discuss about the functions of gis uh, the main function of gis we can divide into four can five types first of all we see data capture data capture the input of data into a gis can be achieved through many different methods of gathering for example aerial photography scanning digitizing GPS or global positioning system is just a few of the ways a GIS users could obtain data. Data stores. Some data is stored such as a map in a drawer, while others such as digital data can be as a hard copy stored on CD or on our hard drive. Thirdly, data manipulation. The digital geographical data can be edited. This allows for many attributes to be added, edited, or deleted to the specification of the project. And fourthly, query and analysis. GIS was used widely in decision making process for the new commission district. We use population data to help establish an equal. representation of population to area for each districts and lastly we can see visually visualization this represents the ability to display your data your maps and information so now i will discuss about the components of gis um, first of all we can see the hardware which hardware used in gis the mainly computer system scanner printer printer and flatboard then software gis in use are map info arc info autocad map etc the software available can be said to be application specific and third data SGIS will integrate special data with other data resources and can be even use a database management system or DBMS used by most organization to maintain their data 
to manage spatial data. Geographic data and related temporal data can be collected in house or passed from a commercial data provider. People, JS user range from technical specialists who design and maintain method. The map creation can either be automated, raster, vector, create or it can be manually victorious using the scanned images. So we can, so I will now discuss about the data types. We can see the GIS main two data types so are number one vector and number two raster. Vector we can divide it broken into some three types. Uh, there are number one points, lines and polygons, raster, cell, pixel and elements. So, we can see vector, points, lines, polygons more closely resembles real world. Raster, areas broken into pixel or cell. Each cell contains data, good at representing dense data, land cover and elevation. So, now we can the main Difference was separate. It's the raster versus vector. We can see the picture raster data and we can see the picture of vector data and represented and raster data represent continuous variation. Well, represented discrete object properly have simple data structure and the require large file size. And uh, by the other hand, the vector data, vector data models represented continuous variation properly represent discrete object well, have more complex data structure, typically uh, require a smaller file size than raster models. So now we can discuss about the advantage of vector data. Uh, it's the main advantage, the good representation of data, use a small file size and accurate map output. So now we will discuss the disadvantage of vector data. Uh, it's the main disadvantage are complex data structure, expensive technology, and analysis is complex. So now we will discuss about the advantage of raster. Uh, first of all, it's the main advantage of its simple data structure, cheap technology, analysis is simple, same grid cell for several attributes. Then I will discuss about the disadvantage of raster. The first of the first of disadvantage of the raster's are the large data volume, inefficient use of computer storage, difficult network analysis, less accurate or expected maps, loss of information when using large cell. Advantage of GIS. Um, so now we'll discuss about the advantage of GIS. GIS allows us to view, understand, and visualize data in many ways that reveal relationship, partners, and trends in the form of maps, globes, reports, and charts. A GIS helps you answer questions and solve problems by looking at your data in a way that is quickly understood and easily shared. GIS gives the accurate data better prediction and analysis. So now we'll discuss about the disadvantages of GIS. Excessive in damage, yeah, excessive damage in case of internal fault, long outtake periods as the repair of damage part at site may be difficult. Expensive software, integration with the traditional map is difficult. So now we'll the finish the, um, our first part of GIS. Uh, if you have any question, you can comment in our YouTube comment box. Uh, we'll try to answer them. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and comment our video. And please subscribe my YouTube channel. And press the bell button for never miss any video. Thanks a lot.